Hey, how's it going? So before we get into this today, in case you don't know what birdhouse friends are or don't know how to get into them, please watch the previous videos in this series which will be linked down below in the description. But essentially, birdhouse friends are a passive way to train hunter and make a lot of money in the process for 90 seconds of your time every 50 Five zero minutes. With OSRS Mobile being more and more widespread, this might be something you maybe want to consider starting to do, and with this video, you can decide for yourself if you think it's worth your time. With that being said though, let's get right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. Alright, onto the Oak Birdhouses now. Here is 18 Hunter coming in, and 19 Hunter. Mm, now here is level 20 Hunter. And after this one, we are so, so close to almost having gotten 400 levels from one trip, but uh, 300 levels from that, I can't complain. I think after we place this birdhouse, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to log out right here, so that way when we log back in, we can just go back around the other way. And that way, we'll save a teleport, but uh, we got kind of unlucky with uh, this birdhouse run if we... Uh, I mean, we might get lucky with the nest. Let's see what we got here. Never lucky. That's like 2.5k. Yeah. And 21 Hunter. 22 hunter last birdhouse of this run now is going to put us at 23 hunter and uh, we got one level left to go for the willow birdhouses so uh after this i think we got uh when we get two more birdhouses we'll be level 24 so we'll bring two willow logs for the next run and uh let's go to the ge and buy a bunch of willow logs now i guess probably should stock up on some seeds too and uh the total loot from these two runs combined together of course it's a regular gold ring all right we got like 10k from these two runs so it's like 5k per run for these last two Oh, look at that. 19k. Easy money coming in. Oh my gosh, dude. Willow logs are way too cheap. Got those for uh, 12 GP each. Alright, so if we come over here and check this birdhouse, and then run over here and check that birdhouse, that's going to put us at level 24 hunter. And because we got 24 hunter now, that means we can now make willow birdhouses. So let's go do that. Make a willow one. A couple of those. Now, we are on our way to making even more GP and getting more nests from each of these birdhouses. It's getting better and better. Their account's getting built up now. I'm liking it. All right, there is 25 Hunter coming in now. First Willow birdhouse here coming in is 26 Hunter. And another easy Hunter level coming in, 27 Hunter. There's something new here. No, maybe not. Okay, I thought there was like, I was going to say ferrets. That was like RS2, wasn't it? So from these three runs, looks like we got a... Uh, 46k worth, not too bad. It's gonna add on very nicely to the cash stack. And 28 Hunter. <laughs> There's 29 Hunter though coming in right after that. Hitting huge milestones today, coming in with 30 Hunter. I think there's nothing really new at this level yet. Isn't it uh, 34 for the next milestone for um, birdhouses? Take a look here. 34 is when we can move on to teak birdhouses. 31 Hunter. 32 Hunter. And 33 Hunter, one third of the way to 99, because that's exactly how it works. All right, here's a milestone coming in. Here is level 34 Hunter, which means we can now uh, use teak birdhouses. So after this run, we're gonna go buy some teak logs and upgrade these birdhouses from willows into teaks. This is all still from this first day, by the way, of doing birdhouse runs. Uh, so let's open up all these nests and see if we get lucky with any of these seeds here. Uh, it looks like we. A maple seed, that's kind of good. Maple seed's all right. Let's do a price check of this. All right, not bad, not bad. Yeah, dude, that maple seed is 36K and uh, almost 5K from the willow seed as well. That's very nice. Okay, so I've been doing some more AFK crafting. I smelted 1,100 gold bars into amulets here and that's putting us at 45 crafting, which means once we get the hunter level for, uh, I think it's T, oh, for maple. Once we get the hunter level for maple birdhouses, we can now craft maple birdhouses, so um, that's another requirement knocked out of the way. So I'm trying to stay a bit ahead of the game with crafting, so by the time we get the hunter level, we won't have to worry about it. Okay, this is the current cash stack right now. We got like 250k. Uh, we're going to buy like 100 teak logs. We need 45 hunter to move on to maple birdhouses, but for now, we got to do teak ones. So let's uh, buy a bunch of these for a little bit above market price, and they bought instantly. And uh, we are ready to start our teak birdhouse runs now. Oh, look at this. Look at all these supplies I just bought. This is going to last us so long. And uh, we still got 150k cash left over. And this is still all on the first day of uh, doing these birdhouse runs here. Checking this willow birdhouse over here. And that's going to put us at 35 hunter. But um, so yeah, now we are planting the teak birdhouses. So we got the extra, I think it's like, it was 2.5% between uh, each of the tiers, right? So uh, slightly higher chance for um, getting more nests for these birdhouses now. 
Uh, I love waking up, doing a birdhouse run, gaining a level. There's 36 Hunter. 37. 38. 39. Huge milestones coming in right now. 40 Hunter. 41. 42. 43 Hunter. One more level, and then we could uh, move on to the Maple birdhouses. Uh, so, we are coming up on 44 Hunter right now. Keep in mind, it's still day two of doing the birdhouses. Um, probably can fit in one more run. Maybe probably one or two more runs in tonight. But there's 44 Hunter, which means we can now use Maple birdhouses. And we do have the level to craft them. Again, we could just buy the full birdhouses off the GE. But I think it'd make for a more interesting series to train up crafting as well. And uh, eventually, maybe even get the crafting cave. Um, yeah, so we'll finish up this run with Teaks. And we'll go ahead and buy some Maples. And from now on, we'll start our runs with the Maples. So maple logs are super cheap, so we'll buy a couple hundred of these. Uh, I got the teak logs selling off, I got some more jute seeds buying. Okay, so here's the last birdhouse run for today. Uh, this is the end of day two. So after you put this uh, maple birdhouse in here, this is the first run with maple birdhouses by the way. We're gonna put these seeds in here. Let's go to the bank now, and uh, we got all these sea nests in the bank that I haven't emptied out all day today. So um, let's empty out these very quickly. Uh, papaya, I think it's a good one. Um, okay, so it says the bank is worth 363k. If we look at all these nests here, it doesn't count the price of these nests that haven't been opened yet. So let's uh, take all these out and see if we can get lucky today. Okay, here's the last of the seed nests that we got for today. We got another spirit seed. Uh, let's put these nests back in here. This was, uh, was that 44 nests or something? So let's take a look at the price check of these seeds. There's a U seed in here too. Uh, 201k it looks like. If we deposit that back into the bank, the bank's value right now is... 741k and keep in mind this is from doing the uh the regular birdhouses onto the oak onto the willow onto teak so this is everything we got up through teak birdhouses and uh level 44 hunter after two days not even training the skill um with all the amount of runs i did the total time of doing the runs probably is less than one hour so uh, as you can see this is uh if you're a training hunter with traditional methods this would take you much longer than one hour to get to level 44. Okay, just selling off uh, some of these more expensive seeds, and let's collect everything we just got. And it's putting us at 449k. Combine that with the cash deck we currently got in the bank. That leaves us at 586k. 45. 46 Hunter. So we are currently 46 Hunter. Three more Hunter levels, then we'll move on to Mahogany Birdhouses. But to make the Mahogany Birdhouses, we need to get our crafting up a bit. We have to get our crafting up to 50 for Mahogany, which shouldn't be too long to get. We have 45 right now. So what I'm thinking I want to do for that, since we have a lot of money now, I'm going to do some glass blowing. So we'll buy a glass blowing pipe, buy some molten glass, and we'll just uh, craft the highest thing we can make. Looks like 1k molten glass will set us back just under 200k. And it's going to come through for 193k, and uh, I think we'll get some decent levels from this really fast. Right now we're making fish bowls, which really don't sell for anything at all, so I'm just going to like drop them or incinerate them or something. But once we get one more level, once we get to 46, we'll be able to make unpowered orbs, which do sell back for a bit, and uh, obviously more XP too, because they're a higher tier stuff. But for now, we'll make a few fish bowls. Almost there though. Okay, here is 46 crafting coming in. Uh, we can now make the unpowered orbs. It looks like this method was averaging like 65 to 70k XP per hour. But uh, let's make the orbs now. It's like 42 XP for each of these uh, empty fish bowls. And these are 53 XP for these unpowered orbs. We do a little price check here. These sell back for 60 each. And molten glass, uh, what would we buy it for? For 190 each. So we'll make a bit of money back that way. And it's more XP, so we're winning all around. Okay, we're coming up on 50 crafting in just a second here. There it is, 50 crafting. We can now make the uh, mahogany birdhouses, which again, I want to remind you, you don't have to do that. You could just buy the birdhouses pre-built from the GE, but this is kind of like a nice side progress goal. And I also remember that we actually can't get the uh, the bank and the crafting guild if we do go for 99 crafting, but this is a skiller account, so we should get skills up. And uh, I think crafting would be like a perfect side goal to go hand in hand with Hunter, so I will keep on doing crafting. We have to at least get, I think it's 90. For, um, yeah, it's 90 for the Redwood birdhouses, so we'll at least get 90 by the end of the series, which I'll probably just do some AFK crafting in between uh, doing birdhouse runs when I get the chance here and there. Also, for the XP rates, we are averaging about 85k XP per hour, which I think is really good considering you could start this method from level 46 crafting. It costs like no more than 2 GP per XP, I think. Um, maybe around there. So if we do go for 90 crafting, that's going to cost like maybe 10 mil at the most using this method. So this is really good. It's really fast. Super AFK, as you can see. You just use the pipe on this thing and uh, just chill for, for a minute or two. 47. 48. Here we go. Come in with 49 Hunter, which means we can now upgrade onto the uh, Mahogany. 
Yeah, Mahogany Breathouse Traps now, which we bought the logs earlier. So uh, after this run, we're gonna move on to Mahogany now. And we already have the uh, 50 crafting requirement as well that we got from the um, glass blowing that we did before. Huge milestones coming in right now, 50 Hunter. Okay, this is the end of day three now, and uh, we're checking this birdhouse for today, and we're gonna wrap up the day with 51 Hunter. So this is from three days of passively doing birdhouses, and uh, again, that first day was like pretty much just a few runs of just doing the, uh, the regular logs and the oak logs. Uh, next birdhouse we're gonna be upgrading to will be U birdhouses at level 59. So we got a bit of a ways to go. Probably won't be upgrading birdhouses for a couple more days. 52 Hunter. 53. 53 is also the level for Chinchampa. So that means uh, we're on day four right now. So if you're doing birdhouses for four days, not even four days, you could get yourself up to Chinchampas without actually training Hunter and just passively training it through birdhouses. 54. Yo, what's up? So today's the end of day four and uh, with this mahogany birdhouse, that's gonna put us at 55. Uh, that's how we're gonna wrap up today though. We do still need to get 60 crafting, and we have to get that by the time we get 59 Hunter. Well, we don't have to, but for the series, I want to get that. And that way, we can make the U birdhouses or craft them ourselves. Hey guys, 55 Hunter from doing like almost no work in four days. 56. <clears throat> 57. Okay, after we pick up this birdhouse and build it, we're going to get a craft level just from making the birdhouse. There's a uh, 55 crafting coming in. We got five more levels to go with crafting before we could uh, move on to the U birdhouses, which is, uh, we need 60 crafting and 59 hunter. So I should probably uh, hurry up with the crafting a bit. I could grind that out probably in a couple hours though with molten glass. Okay, here's the last birdhouse we're doing for uh, day five now. I'm pretty sure it's the end of day five. And we are wrapping up today with 57 hunter. I'm hoping we can get to 60 by the end of the week. I'm pretty sure uh, it's gonna be easily achievable. 58 hunter. Okay, here we are, coming in with 60 crafting, and uh, that means we can now, once we get a uh, 59 hunter, we can make U birdhouses. And uh, after this, the next milestone that we'll have to get to for crafting for the uh, next tier of birdhouses is gonna be level 75 for magic ones. But it's gonna be a very, very long time until we get to that point for uh, the birdhouses as well. We also need 74 hunter. So it's gonna be a while. We won't have to train crafting for a while, but um, it's good to have 60 because probably by the end of today, it's uh, day six right now, by the way, by the end of today, we'll probably have 59 Hunter, which means we'll be able to start right away on the U birdhouses. All right, with this birdhouse, that is going to put us at 59 Hunter, which means we can now make U birdhouses. So um, I'm not gonna bother with this run, but for the next runs and all the runs in the future, we're gonna be starting with the U, uh, the U birdhouses. Okay, so the whole uh, glitch thing and rollback just happened last night, so I missed out on a few birdhouse runs, but it's the morning of day seven. We're currently 59 Hunter. I'm hoping by the end of today, day seven, we can get to 60 Hunter, even with that minor setback. I mean, there's no way we're not gonna get the level. It's like three or four birdhouse runs away and we'll have a uh, 60 Hunter. Yeah, okay, so here we go. 60 Hunter coming in pretty much at the start of day seven. We're like, what's like three or four birdhouse runs in. There it is, 60. We can now place four traps at a time if we want to catch chins or something. And uh, yeah, dude, you can get 60 Hunter in one week of doing birdhouses. This is proof right here. Okay, so we just got back from this last birdhouse run. It's the end of day seven right now. We're gonna call it a week right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put all the stuff in the bank and uh, let's empty out all these nests first of all. Then we'll go ahead and sell everything off that we get. So um, we'll start with emptying the seed nests. Okay, here's the last of the nests that we're emptying out. So let's put this all in the bank now. And uh, this is what the tab is looking like. This is the uh, the nest tab and all the seeds and all the rings. So let's go to the GE. Apparently it's worth 3.2 mil, but let's go to the GE. We're gonna sell every single thing off in the bank that we have. So one week of birdhouse runs. We got to level nine in like five minutes from the Varak Museum. And then we went from level nine to level 60. Well, we actually got to 61. I just didn't show the final level, but we got to level 61 Hunter, all in seven days of doing birdhouse runs. And you'll see the profit here in just a minute, but you can tell already that it's over three mil in one week. And this is just from all the lower tier birdhouses like Oak and Willow. And once we get to the higher tier ones like you, imagine how much more money we'll be making then. And in fact, that's kind of what I want to talk about next. There's probably only going to be three more videos in the series. And each video is going to be showing the XP and loot from one week of doing each tier of birdhouse runs. So one week of you, one week of magic, and one week of redwoods. And then you can see how much you can expect to make GP wise and XP wise based on what tier of birdhouses you're going to be using and decide whether or not it's worth it for you. And if you noticed a few seconds ago, I dropped all my dig site pendants because you can't sell them and I'm liquidating everything else in the bank, so all we're pretty much gonna have is GP and untradables. And the next video you see on this account should be in one week, and it'll be showing what you can expect from one week of doing U birdhouse runs. With OSR's mobile out for Android beta, and hopefully soon for iOS, 
Birdhouse runs are a great thing to be able to do while you're out, and maybe if you have like a minute of time here and there to log into the game, because it adds up so much over time. And as you can see right here, one week of just starting birdhouse runs, which is all the lower tier birdhouses, has gotten us over 3.3 mil GP, and this is even after spending the money on Molten Glass to get to 60 crafting. But yeah, as you can see, in just one week, we've gotten pretty close to a bond from just doing the lower tier birdhouses, and I didn't even get any magic seeds either, which is kind of unlucky. Based on the rates on the wiki, I should have expected to get like three of them. But anyways, that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again next week with this account after one week of doing you birdhouse runs.